Hi, my name is Lasse. I'm part of the LEGO Mindstorms team. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a program that makes your robot drive. I'm going to be using the Everstorm robot, a USB cable, and a computer. So, let's get started. So we're going to start by opening up the project from the last tutorials. We called it My First Projects. And here, we're going to create a new program. And let's call it My First Drive. And we close the content editor to get more space on the canvas. To make your robot drive, we're going to be using the Move Steering Block. The Move Steering Block, you see here, it has connection to the, the B and the C motor, which is also the tracks on the Everstorm robot. On the steering block, we can choose the direction by changing the steering parameter. We can choose the power and we can choose the duration, so how long it should drive. Let's connect the Everstorm robot and see what this block does. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using a different method for downloading. So if you look down here on the button below, the normal download, we have a button called download and run. This button plays the program on the P-brake as soon as it's downloaded. But be careful not to let your robot drive off the table when you're using this function. So we press the download and run. And as you can see, the robot moved forward. I'm going to move him a bit back, away from the edge again. So back in the software, I'm now going to add an extra move steering block. This time, I'm going to change the steering parameter and I'm going to set it to minus 100. And as you can see now, the arrow on top of the steering parameter now changes to an arrow that turns left. So let's try and run this program. And again, we use the download and run. And as you can see, the robot drove forward and then turned left. I'll reposition the robot again. So, I want the robot to turn a bit further. So now I'm going to change this duration to 1.5. And after that, I want it to move a bit backwards. So I'm going to add another steering block. And then I'm going to change the power to minus 50. So by changing the power to minus 50, I'm going to make the robot move backwards instead. So let's download this and run it. And as you could see, the robot moved backwards as well. So that's how you build a program that makes your robot drive. See you soon.